Hello everyone and welcome to the next best of three and as far as I remember unless I'm missing something the first ever undead mirror in the uh, extreme masters history and it's going to be between Elqua the uh, French undead in pink here in the top left corner of Tarina stand he starts with uh, crypt and the altar and his opponent Elfie the Finnish undead player in uh, what's this light blue in the bottom right corner and he does the same opening apparently altar crypt cigarette right now and yeah undead mirror in late 2007 let's see what we're gonna see here back then of course lich very much a possibility with ghouls into gargoyles or into a fiend army or death knight right at the start into a fiend army we will see you know depends very much on uh, the player's taste but so far it looks like it's going to be a cool build by both of the players it is uh, cigarettes are going to finish in a little bit also interesting change here compared to for example uh, the games we've seen so far between human and uh, undead where lich first for both of them uh, where the cigarette is being built after four acolytes are out in this case the cigarette was built after five acolytes were out so in this case the quick hero isn't valued as much i mean against human there's basically always harassment early on whereas against undead especially on this map i guess where the rush distance is rather long the first hero being out as quickly doesn't seem to be valued as much and yeah second cigarette coming for elfie and for Elqua, so we're seeing the exact same build order by both of them. And uh, yeah, as I said, plenty of options once the players reach tier 2. Perhaps second crypt with um, Gargoyles, perhaps no second crypt and, you know, DK second into Fiend, etc. army. We'll find out. So heroes about to spawn. Rot for both of them, I imagine. Where's the Lich going? Down here. Yeah, both of them with the Rot. And Elfie immediately starts creeping here with the Nova Cloak of Shadows first for him. And Aqua apparently not as uh, freely spending his mana here early on. Yeah, Slippers of Agility also not too insanely great. But uh, yeah, as soon as they reach level 2, which is going to happen very quickly here for Elfie, Aqua is going to have a little bit more lumber, but his creeping is going to be a lot... Um, a lot slower or a little bit slower um, as soon as they reach level 2 they can of course also use dark ritual on the skeletons in order to get some mana back circlet of ability on top of the slippers of agility for elqua elfie on the other hand gloves of haste in addition to his um, clock of shadows and he's immediately continuing to creep this is looking like a very very quick creep to level 3 he needs this one afterwards and then he's going to be there it looks like Elqua is doing the same thing, but uh, yeah, clearly slower. But at the same time, Elfie just started his tech, whereas Elqua is a little bit further ahead already. So um, yeah, both of them seem to have different preferences. I don't really see Elfie making insane use of the fact that his level 3 is going to be, you know, like 10 seconds earlier. Whereas... I'm not so sure how much difference the quick attack is going to make in the end. Uh, I guess we'll have to wait and figure it out. But actually, um, Elqua is going for a very quick harassment here with the Staff of Teleportation. Whereas the Lich also used the Staff of Teleportation. So same strat here by both of them. The uh, Lich of Elqua is going to be able to finish off one of the ghouls here. He is level 3 already. So is Elfie. And this game... Turns out to be very interesting right from the start. The Lich here, yeah, sniping out one of the ghouls. <laughs> wow, but all of the ghouls of Elqua have fallen here. Look at the Lich's XP. This one is soon to be level 3.5. This one is a little bit behind another ghoul of Elfie is falling as well. Though he's got plenty of low HP ghouls saved up in the back of his base. One of the accolades is being sniped out immediately. Elfie going for the same thing here. Are both of them facing the Rubian Tower? Yes. This Lich is taking a lot of damage right now, though, due to the uh, decent number of 
goons that are still available and it looks like town portal is being used by Elqua here whose lich has as I said taken a lot of damage is there still Nova on this one yes there is the replenishment potion by the way found by both of them and Elqua with a critical mistake here giving Elfie the chance to do another hit against the Lich here. Nova is coming in. Not now Nova is coming in by Elfie as well. And it looks like Elkwa is going to be the one running into trouble. Especially since he doesn't have a town portal anymore. And there is no mana for Nova on either of the heroes. Both of them do have boots of speed. But Elfie is going to be the one to have 125 mana first. Let's see if he's going to be able... Elqua that is to outrun him, he's using the Staff of Teleportation and it looks like he's gonna get out of this one. A live staffing only a tiny bit towards the back and he's able to sack a Gudor but Elfie is he gonna be able to do the same thing? No, he's the one to, f um, to be forced to use his Town Portal right now as well. And at the end of the day, both of them used the TP. Elfie lost one Ecolite here, the Scout is... Is this the Scout? I think this must have been a Scout. Uh, heading back there... Elqua didn't lose one. He's going for tier 3 immediately, by the way. No graveyard for him and no double uh, double um, crypt yet. So he is not going to get any gargoyles anytime soon. And Elfie does have his graveyard into production already. And does have... Wow. How did he get back up to full HP so quickly? I imagine he must have bought a potion. And he continues harassment here. The Lich here is sitting in the back of the base. Didn't buy a potion yet. Does he see it? The Lich is coming in. And he's actually using Nova against the Ecolite here. Seems like he didn't want to risk it. Or perhaps he didn't see. And uh, given that there were six Ecolites here in the base. This isn't going to hurt Elqua all too much. Another rod board by Elfie. Liches three and a half. And... Three and a half. Graveyard soon to finish. And Death Knight second coming already for Elfie. Oops, for whom we do not see a second crypt still, so I guess neither of the players intends to go for Gargoyles here. But then again, we don't see any Fiend or anything so far as well, so it's still up to, uh, to the players to really answer the question what the strategic plan is here in the long run. DK second by Elqua as well. And I guess he's going to be the first one to answer the question. He's adding the Slaughterhouse. <laughs> but so does Elfie. Staff of Teleportation dropped here. Nicely done by the Finnish Undead player. So he's going to be able to get his Death Knight to the Lich in uh, yeah just a moment once he spawns. Ghoul sitting down here. Not quite sure what he wants to do with that one. DK out, DK is staffing to the Lich immediately, and it looks like this Lich is getting the staff again, yeah, that was to be expected, and he's going to be able to dive into the space very deeply, then again, tier 3 is finishing right now, so uh, I guess going for the Ecolites isn't really too painful anymore at this point, uh, Rod has been used by Elfie, and he's going straight for the DK, Whereas the Lich and the Ghoul is trying to creep here, but the Lich has to use the Staff of Teleportation back. The first Fiend is out already on the side of Elkwine. Is he getting the Coil? No, he isn't. He's actually... Did he just sack that Fiend? I think it looked like it. Some then again, no, he didn't. As we can see on the Death Knight HP bar. So I guess that must have been a sacrifice on a Ghoul, perhaps. Or one of the Skeletons. Uh, probably by this Lich on one of the Skeletons that he just spawned. Right, the ghouls here finished the creep camp. Neither of uh, Elqua's heroes is going to get a level up due to this. And double slaughterhouse is even coming by Elfie. Whereas in Elqua's main base, yeah, he's going to rely on a few fiends. Looks like Elfie doesn't really feel like that. Orb now, bought, or orbs bought on both sides. And Elqua has to fall back again. Let's see, he doesn't see those ghouls. Ah, it's daytime actually, he might see those. Yeah, he clearly does, but he's not going after them. He's going straight for the Lich. There is a mana potion on Elqua's side, which he just used right now, as it appears. On his Lich, just to make sure to get some more damage out. Death Knight is running a little bit low here. Really needs to stay passive. Both of them really need to keep their DKs back, but so far Elqua seems to have been the one doing a better job at that there is another coil available and now this lich is going to run into serious trouble as this dk is out of mana this one still has one more coil but the black citadel and 
the statue should be able to keep this Lich alive rather easily. No more mana on Elfie's Lich as well. So no more Nova, at least for the moment. Then again, he's gonna have another Dark Ritual here, getting a little bit more mana on the Lich. Level 2 Dark Ritual is certainly gonna be a huge help, since it's gonna provide a lot more mana. And yeah, plenty of statues being produced here. Three, he's gonna have soon no feed production at all for Alfie. So it looks like he's gonna wanna go into this potion, by the way, for him. And he sees this big creep about to ensue for his opponent. Where does the Lich go? To the top? Zapper, maybe? Zapper in here? I don't see anything else that he could do. Yeah, that's there's the Zapper. I guess the Lich is going to reveal himself here in order to, uh, you know, get the slow attacks on himself. XP home for Elqua, getting his DK. Gonna get his DK to about level two and a half already. And now the Lich is revealing himself. Let's see how quick Elqua is gonna be able to react here. He's sacking a... Wow, he gets both of the uh, cigarettes. So not a quick enough reaction by his opponent here. And he gets one Echolite killed. So uh, Elqua... Supply block for the moment, but he's got at least four Echolites, so this could have been a lot worse for him. Imagine he, him losing like three Echolites here, but then again, the Slitch apparently didn't want to take the risk against um, the Nova of his opponent and the Orb and everything. So just using the Staff of Teleportation to get out of there quickly, and of course, this was still worth it, even though he only killed one Echolite. Elkwa, on the other hand, seems to really put a lot of emphasis on creeping right now. Uh, having his DK almost level 3 already, whereas Elfie is just now getting some more XP on his DK, getting the first destroyer up in the air. And adding Frenzy right now. Where are his ghouls? With his army? Yeah. Got four ghouls with his army still. Another statue out. So, we're gonna see Elfie going for a big fight here with his destroyers eventually. Uh, not really the greatest army composition to really just you know hang out and not do anything with because um, you know you need those destroyers to get a fight when they are most uh, valuable which is right now after morphing when they still have plenty of mana and Elqua is even going for another big creep camp here he's got a sick xp lead by now robe of the magi death knight is level 3 lich is level 4 Whereas level 4 and Elf is Lich, but his DK isn't even level 2 yet. He's gonna get there though. Big heal potion for him is certainly a great help. Uh, what did he, by the way, get on the other um, expansion? Flute of Accuracy. What's he actually going for? 37 supply only. His army is so tiny, so... Yeah, this really, this really affected him. He had to rebuild two uh, cigarettes here, getting one up to a spirit tower. And rebuilt that Echolite, lost some gold, getting the Dreadlord 3rd even. And now he's the one charging into the base. I'm guessing he's not gonna wanna fight there. But uh, it looks like Elfie doesn't even care. He's just going for the attack immediately. And he's got 5 destroyers out, 47 supply against 37. The Dreadlord is going to be doomed immediately, even if the Town Portal comes, which is happening right now. He's still going to be way too late to save that one. Dreadlord fallen, TP is coming in. And actually a terrible position. All of the ghouls have died in a billy second. The DK is in trouble next. Is there another Nova? Yes, there is. He doesn't even need to use it. And I guess the Lich is going to get that Nova right now and yeah there it is heal potion used by Elqua but yeah this is the worst possible fight he could have gotten there both the heroes dead GG by the Frenchman and 1-0 for Elfie um, in a match where yeah the one little attack with the Zapper made such a huge difference there in the end um, you know if you if you want to count it it's like two cigarettes plus the tower plus the Echolite, plus the mining time, that's like about, uh, I don't know, 800 to 1,000. Actually, we can just look it up. <laughs> wow, not as much, actually. Then again, Elfie just got his uh, got his uh, economy killed there in the end when Elqua marched into his base and he just ignored it. So I'm assuming you can, you know, get like another 300 gold or so. Um subtracted here basically which didn't impact the end of the game anymore because as you've clearly seen um Elfie heading in there with uh five destroyers and his dual hero of course the investment into the dreadlord that's another 425 was completely wasted and he, the, the fact that he tried to go for fiends didn't do him any good 
And with that TP in the end, the, yeah, there was just nothing to do anymore. TPing in with the ghouls against the mana destroyers. And you've seen how much damage those took, how much damage the Death Knight took immediately. And that's 1-0 for Elfie in a game that in the end was decided rather quickly. And we're going to go to Echo Isles for the second map.